That last battle was a little too close. Agreed. If Jude hadn't been there to save us, it would not have ended well. You have my thanks. Sure. Don't worry about it. Even in the midst of combat, you really do look out for others. But taking your focus off your opponents like that could land you in an early grave. I... I guess it could. Of course, I wouldn't want to fight with someone who didn't give a damn about me either. So keep up the good work, champ. Will do. So in other words, you only want to fight with people who are willing to die young. No, you got it all wrong. I only want to fight with people who are willing to help me die old. Hey guys, Mr. Eppie's Missing, bringing you episode 6 of Tales of Zillia. Last time, we made our way through Galia Trail after escaping the small village of Hamil from a bunch of Rashugo shoulders, soldiers. And now we find ourselves um, about to enter Kajara Sea Falls. But first, let's go over some things. First off, I am currently level 16, 16, and 17 um, in terms of levels. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust my Lilium orbs real quick. So I have a lot of GP to spend because I leveled up a bunch and then I just didn't do it in the middle of the episode when I was recording it. So, let's see here. I think I'm going to, yes, Recovery Ring will probably be really good for me to grab, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that, and that's going to expand my Lilium Orb. Alright, let's see what fun stuff we have access to now. Alright, we got Assault 2, which will increase my AC by 1. Talon Storm. Um, Feign Death. Uh, nah. We have the Art Palm Strike. The Skill Combo Voltage. Hmm, that might be good. And then Down Burst. Alright. Well, first I'm going to kind of address the more physical stats, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab Strength and everything kind of along that path. I'm also going to grab Vitality and Agility, so I'm just going to kind of keep going down this path. And as such, I will be actually getting a good chunk of skill points along with that. Alright. Hmm. Let's see. Earth Guard would be good, Spirit would be good. Um, down, the down thing's not really necessarily that good. Um, voltage will probably be good, so I'm going to go ahead and throw points into this. And then, it's also getting me more skill points and more HP, so... Oh, and I'm going to expand the Lilium Orb again. Interesting. Neat. Alright, um... Yeah, so I'm going to just go ahead and complete this link here, and then I'm going to go up and complete the link that's farther up as well. That's kind of the nice thing about leveling some of these skills is sometimes you don't really have to go that far and as you can see now I need two skill points to just go up a step and then approach so the Lillian War is going to get harder and harder to um, level up so let's see here recover the Mirage Assault Dash Rising Falcon Water Guard and some spark. All right. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and just throw that last point to vitality. All right, Mila, gonna go ahead. So she will get immunity and aerial voltage. So we're gonna go ahead and level up like that. Okay. So I'm gonna say no to the auto leveling, so that way I can see what she's gonna get. Assault two combo siphon temptation and whirling assault. All right. Let's go ahead and grab all those. So this way you can see what how the auto leveler is doing and just kind of what they're doing. So for Alvin, Assault 2 Spirit, Combo Siphon, TP Restoration Guard, Safety Net, Medical Meditation, and Terror Rupture. That's a lot of shit. <laughs> Which will leave Alvin with 2 GP left. Um, he's not going to get anything that's significant enough to like get new skills and shit. Speaking of which, I'm going to go ahead and dress the skills now that we have a lot more skill points and whatnot. So, let's get some of our things down. Do, do. Um, okay, I think that'll be good. Oh, Earth Guard. Um, yeah. Earth Guard is kind of more important. And then I'll just go ahead and throw in Magic Guard. That might be good. 
All right, so assault two. Um, let's see, that might be good because Mila likes to be in the air a lot. Um, I don't perform taunt, so I'm probably gonna leave that. Um, if you gain would be good. Um, I can't, I can't do immunity right now, and I think I'm gonna leave everything else as it is. So, all right, so that'll be good for Mila. Let's go ahead and turn on those for Alvin. Um, yeah, we'll throw on immunity. Oh, prevent a counter links. Huh, if only those would actually happen. <laughs> let's see here. Um, let's go ahead and turn on TP gain. All right, and that's going to do it for skills. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check out arts now, since I should have a few more to work with. All right, demon fist. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see here. Soaring vort vortex. Um. Talon store might be good. Or swallow dance. Hmm. Just trying to make sure. Oh, I already have swallow dance. So talon store might be good. Um. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh wait. Oh wait, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. This is fine, everything is fine. All right, I think that's how I'm going to have the arts. All right, and then also um, I upgraded the equipment, which is, I guess, more or less technically off screen. So currently, Jude has the steel gauntlet, the round straw hat, the lamellar guard, and boots. Um, I put boots on everyone, you're gonna see that in a bit. Mila's got the Kukuri, the Iron Circlet, Leather Coat, and Boots. Um, yeah, Leather Coat's better. And then Alvin has Lazy Iron, Leather Helm, Lamellar Leather, and Boots. So that's kind of the equipment setup that I have. Um, I should be getting to a shop probably so you can see what level everything is. But I think that's pretty much it, so we're going to go ahead and head forward into Kajara's Sea Falls. Once we cross the Kijara Sea Falls, we'll reach Nia Kara, the village of the spirits. At least the soldiers didn't come after us. I hope we didn't make trouble for those villagers. They were so kind to us, too. <coughs> what else could we do but run? Rashagal's troops showed up. The villagers picked the fight, not us. How can you talk like that? Maybe they were trying to protect us. If you're worried about them, then maybe you should go back. It was a pleasure knowing you, Jude. Thank you for all of your help. How can he be so cold? You'd rather I get emotional? I'm afraid I don't have that luxury. What is it you humans say? I've no time for waxing sentimental. Because of your mission? Precisely. So you think your emotions would prevent you from doing what you have to do? Can a person still fulfill their duty if they become emotional? Only one way to find out. You'd have to try and see. Well then, you should take your own advice. Huh? Just be yourself and do what you have to do. Maybe then you'll have your answer. I suppose. Don't go thinking you have to act like the great Lord Maxwell here. You're only human. Hey, are you on a mission too? Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Are you sure you really want to know? Huh? I don't want to make you feel like the odd one out now. Hmm. So, what are you gonna do, kid? Go back to the village? No. All right, let's go. 
All right, and let's go. Okay, just as I thought, there is a peddler right here. All right, so if you want to look at my levels, I have items at eight, weapon at six, armor at five, accessories at six, and food at eight. Blech. All right, and then as you can see, both the weapon and accessory shop want um, plant life. So because of that, it's now times three instead of times two. So now's a really good time to like hit up the materials. Luckily, I have a good chunk of material, so I can get that weapon shop up to 13. Alright, which will unlock a bunch of things, actually. Which is really nice. Um, let's see here. Armor shop's kind of my next priority. Let's go ahead and give them all the copper ore that I have. Um, got some new things. Um, let's see. Uh, accessories are kind of important, but I d just did all the plant stuff. Um... Here, I'll give them some weird fragments to kind of make up for that. Um, let's make them nine. Alright, which will add a bunch of, well, fun accessories and whatnot. Um, let's see here. Item shop. Let's go ahead and give them... Um, I'm going to give them all my beautiful feathers. I'm going to hold on to the wild bird eggs for now. Alright, which gives us some new gel and another bottle type. And then, last but not least, food. Um, yep, sure, let's give them all the beast dung that I got. Okay, that unlocks some food. Speaking of which, I need to restock myself on food. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm more interested in gold and experience, so... Gonna grab an orange soup. Um, I should probably just buy them all at once. Silly me. Um, gonna go ahead and grab marble curry, soda rice, and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. And then as you'll notice, um, something I haven't talked about yet is how ridiculously expensive some of the food is, um, when they go up a size. So, it's just kind of better to buy the smaller foods and then just work from there because they are so much less expensive so I'm gonna go ahead and eat the orange soup and then I'm going to buy another one and then I guess we'll move on I think I'm fine for weapons and armor for the time being so I'm just gonna go ahead and hold off on upgrading anymore all right grab an orange soup all right let's go all right so now that we have a skill that prevents encounter links I'm kind of curious as to whether or not they are now um, preventable Okay, I thought there might be something there. Or if they might... Not preventable, but doable. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Oh, got some meat pasta. So that'll be good. For if I want my stuff increased. My stats. I know how to words, guys. I swear. Okay, more copper ore. And then here's a bag over here. Alright. I'm going to try to encounter link these two guys. There's only two of them. But I should be able to get them close enough to each other. Um, still no encounter link. When am I going to be able to encounter link? Anyway, Coastal Mad uh, Mandragora. Um, they're not actually weak to anything. Not sure what their enemy type is. But whatever. Alright, so that's kind of... Can we really climb this? Better stop thinking and start climbing. Yep, and now we're gonna start climbing up shit. So, as you can see, there's a bunch of legends and stuff that those are, for the most part, climbable. There are exceptions to the rule, and then, of course, jumping down is the way we're gonna do things. No climbing here. Alright, let's fight this dude. This dude is a ribbit. We don't actually know what type those are. All we do know is that they are weak to fire. All right, and that fixes that. Over already. So I got some fossilized shell, and then of course we got the food boost going. And I'm just sitting here, still waiting for encounter links to be a thing. Now there's a chest up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that, and that's good for a jasmine, which increases your max dex by one. So um, no point in holding on to sap boosters until later. Might as well. Oh, I forgot that saffron's a thing. So I'm going to go ahead and give Jude both of those because Jude will always be in your party because he is your main character for this section. 
for the for the fucking for the game for the entire game you're always gonna have Jude. So we're gonna fight the crab dude now. Crab man. I'm sorry. Crab man. Um, defense type enemy. Um, no weaknesses. So he's gonna be kind of. These guys are gonna be really annoying in guard. This is why I recommend Alvin because Alvin's um, link skill is break, which will help you break the guards of and your enemies. All right, so let's go ahead and advance into the central area. So the correct way to go, the mysterious liquid, is up here. But there's some other things around. So we're gonna go ahead and try to grab everything we possibly can. Don't have any more room for the melon gel. That's a shame. Oh well. That just means that that I should probably start selling that now. And then we have some sort of fish wizard thing, and we have these little tadpole things, so... Ooh, bronze helm. I believe that's better equipment. Um... Let's see... Might be better for... Yeah, it's better, better for Alvin. Um, I have Jude more oriented towards art defense. Ooh, I free treasure. That's a good thing. Pet dragon. Gonna go ahead and discard that and fight the Murfish. Okay. Neela leveled up and we are at the end of our food. So going to go ahead and pop. Um, I'm going to pop a Mabo Curry for now. And I'm not going to fight the tadpole dude. We'll probably run into more um, a little bit later. But they, if I'm not, if I remember correctly, they don't give as much experience or gold as kind of the other enemies in this area. Come on, dude, climb. All right. Let's see. I don't see. Whoa, that's something. They're like spears of stone jutting out of the sea. They say you get unusual terrain like this at points where two spirit climbs collide. Good to know. Alright, I could have sworn there were some collectibles here, but I guess not. Over already? Okay. I forgot that I need to kind of change up the art that's um bound right here, so... Um, I'm gonna make this one Aqua Sweep and this one Talent Soaring Vortex. Soaring Vortex, yeah. All right, I might I might change that up a little bit later, but for the time being, that's kind of where I'm going to leave it. And then there's a chest down here, and I think that'll pretty much do it for um, at least this region. This is um, one of the first areas that we're in that I think has three regions. So, we're not quite done with Kajara Sea Falls yet. And then I am going to keep checking behind me because you never know when a shiny is not there. Oh, there's a little chest in this cove. Cove. Jet black feathers. And then bag full of copper ore. And then there's a shiny on the plant, which is spider webs. And we're going to fight this dude. And then we're going to move on to the next region. Alright, you know what, Alvin, get over here. Help me break. Oh, and we got Silver Ore as we dropped, and Jude leveled up. Alright, so now... Alright, let's keep going. When you fall like that, Mila, you might want to, uh, hold down your skirt. Why? Wouldn't it be difficult to keep my balance in that pose? Now that we're almost to Niakara, I'm getting curious. Is it a nice place? Hmm. Yes, I'm very fond of it. It has a certain kind of serenity. When I meditate there, it feels like my power is concentrated. Wow. Let's take five. All those rocks were murder on my feet. We can rest once we reach the village. Oh, come on, relax. Niakara isn't going anywhere. Right? Rest a while. Oh, sure. <laughs> hey, I won't argue with that. 
that Alvin. I don't need his concern. You must be tired. That was way too easy. Who are you? <laughs> I'm not telling. What do you think you're doing? Where could it be hiding? That little treasure of yours. Come now, give it up. Not a chance. Thanks, Alvin. You're a pretty considerate guy, aren't you? Well, I do have to admit you had me worried, kid. Trying to act all tough like that. Oh, yeah, is it really that obvious? Anyway, I really am fine. And I found that I'm pretty good at pushing all the complicated stuff out of my brain. Is that right? Oh, have I found your limit? You should know. Maybe I just don't have it with me anymore. I see. Are you certain about that? <laughs> What's wrong? Does that hurt? Come clean and I'll make the pain stop. Do what you want. I don't really care. Pain means nothing to me. Very well. I'll have to take you with me. Who are you? You like her? Is she the one who caught your eye? All right, let her go. I could care less what you're here for. But she's my employer right now. Then stay back. Unless you want me to kill your golden goose. Who are you? Who was it that hired you to do this? Do you really expect me to just tell you? What do you take me for? Do I honestly look that easy to you? We're gonna have a lot of fun together later. Just you wait and see. Alvin, look, up there, that rock to the right, can you hit it? Take a look, it could be the key to saving Mila. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah. Oh, you're just gonna watch her die then? With friends like that. Out of the frying pan. And into the firefight. Come on, let's clean up this mess. It's charging! Alright, and here's our first monster boss fight. The Greater Demon. So, alright, it's going to give us a tutorial. Sure, let's take a look-see. Alright, so, press triangle to open the menu. It's a demon fist and soaring vortex in the arts menu. Alright. Um, okay. Say demon fist... And the Soaring Vortex is over here. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna leave them where they are. What? Ah, oh, goddammit. Okay, I guess it's gonna make me do this the hard way. Alright. I'm setting Demon Fist. Um, you know what? I'm gonna move Soaring Vortex to where Cerberus Strike is. And. And. Cerberus Strike. Alright, I swap them. Alright. See. 
Demon Fist. And then, Storming Vortex. Alright, it's going to talk to us about um, Linked Arts Wallen Overlimit. So we can put two arts together, or two linked arts together, and make a chain, and blah blah blah. All right, exclamation point generally means that they're gonna attack or something. So let's go ahead and try to avoid that if we can. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we can't. Oh, utterly wreck them. I didn't think that was possible. We should practice chaining our attacks for the future. All right, and I think I actually had a food item active. Yep, Mobile Curry, so I received a lot more gold from that. So. That wasn't too bad. So this is experience. Just keeps getting better. All right, that was a pretty good fight. <laughs> the Linked Arts really hammered him down. So you spotted that monster camouflage as a boulder? Good eyes, kid. Did you ever consider what would have happened if the creature charged at you instead of that woman? It wouldn't have mattered either way. Alvin still would have gotten into that woman's blind spot. You thought of all the angles that quickly? <laughs> what are you, a tactical genius? Genius is a good word. Not many people can think that fast. Hey, it was nothing. Thank you, Jude. You too, Alvin. Hey, where'd that woman go? Hold your horses, Mr. Honor Student. We're not gonna get anywhere if we spend all day worrying about the bad guys. Come on, let's get moving. All right, and get moving we shall. That's quite the spectacle. What do you say? Up for a quick dip? If you're intent on that, I won't try to stop you. But I can see monsters waiting under the water. All right. But first I'm going to just kind of take in the view because it actually looks really, really nice. I think the water engine or whatever it's called looks really good in this game and it does seem to basically match up with everything. So it's really neat. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and view this again, a monster that size. Well, that was something. I've never seen such a large monster before. Monsters who experience a mutation in their mana lobes can expand to massive sizes. You read that in a book? Yep. <laughs> Not much gets a rise out of you, does it? You're no fun at all. You didn't seem particularly surprised yourself. Well, that wasn't anything I haven't seen before. You've traveled around the world and seen all sorts of things, huh? All true, but I've never seen anyone pick a fight with a monster that big before. Well, I'm glad that we were able to show you a new experience. Hmm, lucky me. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and climb up here. And this is the last region of Kajara Sea Falls, if I'm not mistaken. More wild bird eggs. Let's go ahead and fight this thing right here. Should have gone a little easier. All right, Mobile Curry is. I didn't see how many uses. Mobile Curry. Oh, is done. So let's go ahead and eat the soda rice and keep climbing. Yeah, I'm. I'm still curious. I know that I've probably talked about that. I've been talking about this for too goddamn long now, but I'm still curious when encounter links are going to become a thing. It's actually a little bit of a annoyance and inconvenience too. Ivory treasure, guardian emblem, nice. But it is a little annoying that I can't actually put two of these enemies together and really maximize the food in the early stages of the game. Oh well, that's just going to have to be something I have to deal with for now. So, let's just keep fighting things until I guess our food runs out or something. Should have gone a little easier. Okay. All right. Not bad. And Alvin levels up. Hmm. Gonna go ahead and get side attack on the crab man. Not big hands. 
Alright, got a Pansia yep. bottle, and I think that's actually kind of it for collectibles, um, at least up here. So we're going to go ahead and hop down. Oh, and a cutscene. So, any idea who that woman was? No clue. Although she did seem to know me. I imagine you mercenaries make a lot of enemies in your line of work. Although, I have to admit, she was really pretty. I never pegged you for the bad girl type, kid. Or maybe you just like older women. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, Jude. Alright, so I believe Niakara is this next region up here. Yep, Niakara is right there. But we're going to go ahead and make a quick U-turn because there's a few more collectibles that we can grab over here. And we got some monsters in our way. Yep, I really do like Aqua Sweep um, bound to my upright stick. It's a lot faster execution than whatever was there, Soaring Vortex, I think. Right. And Alvin's kind of wrecking stuff kind of on his own. Although, yeah. Now I to say, obviously we're going to get a, another party member. Take two, discard the rest. Yeah. It's inevitable that we're going to get a fourth party member. I'm sure all of you know that based off of just kind of the symmetry of the battle. How there's an empty slot in the bottom. But anyway guys, I think that's actually going to do it for me here. So guys, in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and head into Niakara. This has been Mr. Arby's Missing, and see you next time.